Hi, my name is Camille and I'm a 3D generalist, artist, and director. Throughout this course, I'll be sharing a variety of tips and insights into the world of mixed reality. The beginning of every project starts with an idea. And for this video, we'll explore how to use AI as a tool for brainstorming and storyboarding. And I'll walk you through the process of shaping ideas into a pitch that you can use for your clients. So let's jump right into how we start with an idea. I often find myself getting inspired by films or works from other creators. It's a bit like collecting bits and pieces for inspiration. What I do is bookmark anything that catches my eye and categorize them into folders like VFX, Mixed Reality, CGI, and so on. This way, when a new project comes up, I have a go-to source for inspiration. Whenever I have an instant idea out of nowhere, I usually have a dedicated note where I quickly type in all of those bursts of ideas, and then I go back to it when I finally have some time to create some of them. Let's talk about AI in our creative process. The first time I used AI for a complete storyboard, I was genuinely impressed. It's been a crucial part of my process ever since. For broader ideas where I want different styles or versions, I find Midjourney really useful. It's great for creating cinematic style images that bring storyboards to life. When I need to get really specific, I turn to ChatGPT. I think of something as detailed as a green whale floating in the sky with some unique branding, grass on its back, and flowers for eyes? Getting started with AI does involve a bit of patience. Like anything, the more you work with AI, the better you get at it. So enjoy the process and watch your creative ideas come to life. And once you've got your AI images, let's talk about how to weave them into a content pitch. When it comes to social media content, I've started embracing vertical formats for my pitches. You've probably noticed how platforms like Instagram and TikTok have shifted to favor vertical layouts. It's not just about following a trend, it's about adapting to the new norm of how we consume content. Using a vertical layout in pitches is a unique way to mirror the shift in social media. It's not just different, it reflects the current digital landscape and looks visually striking, especially in presentation settings. Plus, it stands out to most of the clients. Here's a peek at a pitch I typically make for mixed reality projects. I've even got a sample PDF you guys want to download and check it out right below. A typical concept page in my pitch might look something like this. I'll add a few of those AI images per page and make them look all pretty. This helps both you and the client visualize what the outcome video will be. Take a look at this other pitch example I created for Lenovo. In pitches like these, I've found that simplicity can really shine. It's all about clarity and capturing the essence of your vision. Including AI images in your storyboard helps in conveying your ideas vividly. It's not just about impressing the clients, it's about giving them a clear, tangible sense of what you're aiming to create. As long as what you're presenting aligns with your creative vision and capabilities, you're on the right track. If you've got the time, consider making a pre-visualization video. These are super helpful for clients to understand what the final product might look like and can really boost your chances of getting that project greenlit. While mixed reality isn't a brand new field, it's an area of animation that has gained significant traction in the past year, sparking a lot of intuitive concepts as creators. We're part of an exciting, evolving landscape. There's no single right way to approach this. My advice, especially for those just venturing into mixed reality, is to keep learning. Dive into tutorials, explore new techniques online. The learning journey never really stops. There are numerous approaches to crafting a pitch and creating art pieces. And what I've shared is just one possibility. As an artist, trusting your instincts is key. If something feels right creatively, it often is. So that's a quick run through of my process for creating pitches and visualizing with AI. Next up, I'll be covering how to capture the perfect shot from mixed reality. Again, feel free to download the resources I've mentioned. It's just the link down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What else would you like to learn? Catch you in the next video.